So here's the thing, these Galaxy 8 series devices, they should be fossils by now, at least that's what I thought. But if my last video on the Note 8 running One UI 7 taught me anything, it's that you guys refuse to let these old phones die. The comments, the DMs, same message over and over, do it for the S8, do it for the S8 Plus, even though technically that last video already covered them. But I hear you, loud and clear. And yeah, I know, you want One UI 7 for the Note 9, Note 10, even the Note 20. And I'll get to those, as soon as we have something real to work with. Right now, it's all about the 8 series. But let me stop you right here. If you are expecting some kind of upgrade, some magical refinement or the Note 8 experience, then let's skip the suspense. There isn't one. The camera? Dead. Face unlock? Forget it. Eye scanning? Gone. And the weird stuff, Wi-Fi dropping for no reason. Random crashes, possible SIM and SD card failures, yeah, still here. And let's be real, they are not getting fixed anytime soon. So if you're still watching, still thinking about this, I'm assuming you're that nerd, the one keeping this as a secondary device. Because as a daily driver, this is a hard no. And look, the process is the same for all three Galaxy 8 series phones. So I'll be using the Note 8 for this tutorial. Why? because I managed to get rid of my S8 before I could even film this. And yeah, huge shout out to the developer of this ROM. And of course, it's time to slow down the pace a bit. Alright, let's get to the installation. Here's how to install it. First, back up everything. Your data will be wiped. Update your device to the latest available software version and make sure your phone is charged to at least 30%. Also, remember that you need to unlock the bootloader for this process. Start by going to settings, then about phone and find your build number. Tap on the build number 7 times until you see a message confirming that you are now a developer. Once that is done, go into developer options and enable both OEM unlocking and USB debugging. After that, shut down your phone. Once the device is turned off, download everything you need. After that, you will need to enter download mode. To do this, Hold volume down Bixby and power simultaneously and just like that, you are in download mode. Once you have everything ready, launch Odin and check for a blue highlighted COM port. If you see it, you are good to go. Next, head to the options menu, disable auto restart, then click on AP and load the TWRP file you just downloaded. Hit start, let it process and step 1 is complete. Now, to boot into recovery mode, hold down all the buttons. As soon as the phone shuts off, release volume down, but keep holding the others. When the Samsung logo flashes, release power and Bixby as well. At this point, you should be in TWRP. In TWRP, navigate to the wipe section, select format data, type yes, and reboot back into recovery. This ensures your PC properly recognizes the phone. Once that's done, Copy the repartitioner file to your device. Then on your phone, go back to TWRP, tap install and flash the repartitioner file. This will take a few minutes and then your phone will automatically reboot into TWRP again. If you check the logs, you may notice few red error messages which you will have to fix before proceeding any further. For that, simply go to wipe then advanced wipe. Select the affected partitions such as data or cache change their file system to F2FS and format them. Just watch what I'm doing here and follow along. After that, confirm that your phone is visible on your PC. Now, transfer the ROM file to your phone's internal storage. Go to install, select the ROM file and flash it. The installation process will begin immediately. After a few minutes, one UI 7 is up and running on your Galaxy 8 device. How awesome is that? And now, I'll catch you in the next one.